Welcome everyone. Welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream broadcast for my Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on, we talk about what's going on for the week, we look at the energy, we focus, we draw a few cards, and we really align our energy to look for that guidance coming in. So much going on right now. We all know this. So much uncertainty, so much change. Everybody's like kind of waiting and wondering. So much information coming out. It's really hard to believe, right? So the main emphasis this week is the full moon, which comes in on early, early, early Thursday morning. Very powerful full moon. It's a super moon. It's also what is called the Wiesach moon. The Wiesach moon is the energy. It happens this time of year, every year, up in the Himalayan mountains. All of the enlightened ones, all of our teachers, all our spiritual energies come together. It's called the Wiesach moon. It's the birth and death of Buddha. It's the energy of Christ consciousness. It's where the Buddha kind of came alive, where he was liberated from that karmic cycle and became enlightenment. Right. And so that's the energy gathered in the Himalayans right now, as we're all talking now, as we're all gathering tonight, they start to move and travel to the Himalayans. So we have all of this amazing spiritual energy coming forward with this full moon. Exactly what we need right now. Raising of consciousness. It's definitely a time for you to raise your spiritual energy as well. Right. Everybody's in change. Everybody's in change. So this is the time to make some changes within yourself, to go forward, to tap in to your guidance, to what is in there. And maybe you don't know how to do that. You can learn. You can learn. And that is exactly what it has to do with building a spiritual practice. That's what we do. We sit down, we get quiet. We open up to the higher consciousness of who we are. Several times this weekend, I had guidance coming in and then I saw it in the skies with the hawk coming in. I had a dream saw more signs of it. Just amazing energy can come forward at this time. We really need to be able to tune in and trust. We've had so much information going on, right? First they say it's not contagious. Then they say it is contagious. First they say there's no need for masks. Now they're saying you must wear a mask. So many things going on. Who do you believe? Who do you believe? How do you know who to believe? I know I posted several articles this week. Some were more controversial than others, right? Maybe I didn't fact check everything. And then I posted another one and another one. We have to look underneath the surface and most important, begin to trust our own energy, build your immune system, build your conscious awareness, build your auric field, vibrate a higher vibration. All right. I follow Dr. Joe Dispense. I've talked about him all the time. Raise your vibration. Work with your auric field around you. So when somebody's coming in or when you're going out into a place that doesn't feel right, trust it, trust it. If we all stay home another month, another two, another three months, how are we going to build immunities to this? So our healthy people, we do need you to go out there. Maybe you've had it and healed. Maybe you're carrying those antibiotics that we all need, right? We need to get back out into the workplace. Now you need to choose when it's right for you and not judge others. Not judge others if they're going out sooner than you or you don't want to or whatever. People need to start filtering back in, getting back out into life so we can work around this. This isn't going away. It's not. We're going to be here. I was reading something today. It's going to be like till 2023, right? So we're going to be in this energy for a while. You know, and if I think back to it, I heard what uh, Bush put out there. All right. Never was a big, huge Bush fan, but my, oh, my, better than what we have now. He talked about the energy of 9-11. That's when he was in presidency, right? When I was in New York during 9-11, that totally switched, switched my entire life. It shifted it. I made commitments. I made promises. And that really is the message for this week. What is your purpose? What is your purpose in life that you can now move forward as we all make these changes? What are you going to work for? We see going to work for a paycheck isn't working. Take a breath. Ask, those, ask yourself those questions. What is your purpose right now? When we have a purpose, when we can be inspired, we can find that reason to go forward. Dr. Joe just put out a, mess, a meditation and a message about who inspires you? Who inspires you? Use that as a vibration that you can lift up and let that guide you out into the world now to make those changes. How can you inspire yourself to know the why of your purpose right now? What is your work and what can you do? All right. Not everybody has to be a leader and not everybody has to do what everybody else does. But you know what? If yours is to go out there and stock the stores, be of that purpose. 
If you're out there being a grocer, be of that purpose. If you're out there in healthcare, be of that purpose. We need to make these changes come forward. In fact, I'm a little angry because right now, some of what I do, massage therapists, some of our health professionals, we can't do our work. We have to wait, but yet liquor stores are open. Go figure, right? So use your own sense of building your immunities, building your vibration to be strong. And when you go out there, that you know what you're going out to do. Be smart. All right. Take care of yourself. And I think that's so important. We lift our immune system up. We lift our vibration up so we can fight this coronavirus so that we can rise above and know what we're doing, make the changes we need to do. All right. We're going to have more energy coming forward. The big, the big energy this week is all about the full moon. And then after like May 10th, May 11th, that'll be next week. We'll talk a little bit more about it. We're going to start to see a dramatic shift again. Some of the retrograde energies coming forward. So we may start to notice the pandemic of the coronavirus starting to flatline a little bit. We may have a little bit more of a reprieve, but we're going to start to notice some of the other things, more of the financial issues, what's going on with our money, how are we going to work? We're going to notice some of these things coming back around. Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus start to go retrograde, and that's going to be a big shift in all of us. All right. So it's going to be really, really important that you start to ask yourself those questions. Who do I trust? Who do I listen to? How do I form those own decisions for myself? All right. We don't really know exactly what it's about still. I have my own theories. I have my own ideas, but those are mine. And so I'm going to start to make some plans and start to put some energy out there that's in alignment with who I am. That's in alignment with the strength that I carry within my own soul, my spirit. And I say, do the same. Where can you strengthen this for yourself? Where can you open up to a better sense of who you are and what your purpose is? All right. How many people think you're going to go back to a new normal, right? They're saying new normal. No new normal. New paradigm, right? New paradigm, right? We're going to go through that. We're going to make some changes and we're going to open up. So as we move through this week, use the energy of the full moon to really open up to that fullness of who you are. Tap into the Himalayans. Imagine yourself there. Do some medication, do some medication, do some medication. Ha ha. Let that be your meditation. Your meditation is your medication. All right. There we go. Funny. Ha ha. Right. So notice where you are in your own practice. Stick to a practice. All right. I know it's been hard. I know a lot of people are saying I can't meditate or I can't do yoga or I can't do my normal things. That's okay. That is okay. Right, Regina? Ha ha. Right. I get so excited. I get really inspired by the energy and the signs and my own intuitive abilities that's coming forward. When we make changes, we shift our energy. When we shift our energy, we can shift the course of action of who we are and what we're doing. Very important right now. And don't think you have to make a huge change. One little change. Start with that and be disciplined in that. We talked all about discipline last month. All right. We really did. Thanks, Summer. Nice save. There you go. All right. Thanks. I love that. Be disciplined in making that change. All right. Stay, say you're going to meditate five minutes and do it. Don't just say it, but do it. And you'll start to notice a change. You'll start to find some of those answers coming forward. And if you don't know how, reach out. I can teach you. There are plenty of teachers that can teach you how to use your intuition, how to build your practice and open up to what you're doing. All right. So as we start this work week, we're going to see lots of shifts. It's May. Some businesses are opening. Some people are going to start filtering in. We're all going to wonder what's going to happen. What's going to happen, right? Use your own sense of who you are, your own intuition, and build that auric field around you. Really important, learning to build your auric field so you know what's going on. All right, the moon's going to be building. It's in Scorpio. We talked a little bit about this last week. Scorpio's intense. All right, I got Scorpio rising, so I know all about it. It's a little bit intense right? It's going to feel like it can be a sting of energy. Scorpios, what they like to do is they like to go in the cave deep and then they'll come out. And then when they come out, they're looking to see, am I safe? All right. And we're all asking that questions as we go out. Am I safe? Am I okay? All right. And so we really have to take control and start to trust our guidance. So we're going to notice this as we move through the week. Thursday's where the full moon is. I'm going to actually do a full moon circle. I'm going to get some help from my friends, going to get some wolf therapy in. We're going to do a fire ceremony outside. It will be online. Work in the medicine wheel. I've got a new medicine wheel outside my house here. And I'm see if I can get Asher Market in and do a cacaya. We'll do a cacaya ceremony as well. So hit me up for the link. I'll be sending out information. We're going to do it on Zoom. 
Thursday evening. All right. A beautiful ceremony, a little Reiki, little cards. We're going to really get into that full moon energy. We really need to tap into this vibration going on in the Himalayans. We really do. We really need to let that energy of peace vibrate. Peace is one of the highest vibrations. When we elevate the emotions, we can start to manifest out into the world. What are the changes you want to see? All right, look at what's going on now. Our healthcare system needs rebuilding. Our money system needs rebuilding. All these things need to happen to help us move out. Our spirituality needs building. It needs lifting. Yes, yes, yes. We need to manifest this energy out there. All right, so take it easy as you move through this week. Start to continue really working with those manifestations that you started at the new moon. That's what the full moon is all about. Know that it's the Wesak moon. Very beautiful, very empowered. We're going to actually do the great invocation before we finish. The great invocation, Alice Baby, Alice Bailey, back in like 1940s, brought this forward from that point of light, helping us all to lift the vibration. And truly, that's what I believe we all need at this time. Raise the vibration, work with your immune system, work with your intuition so you know what's going on as you move out into the world. Definitely. And that Scorpio energy is right on top. It's also known, I think, as the flower moon. So we honor the flowers. We are like pulling weeds and they have the tiniest, babiest, beautiful flowers. Mother nature is amazing. Let's honor her and let's really open up to the greater part of who we all are. Let's let go of the fear and be ready to make some changes and shifts in the way in which we communicate, the way in which we live our life, the way in which we do our work as well. Big full moon, very, very powerful. All right. So let's just take a moment and let's ground our energy and let's start to pull in so we can know our energy. I'll send a little Reiki as we do it. So wherever you are, if you can, take a nice deep inhale, light a little sage and exhale away. Start to center your energy, and just letting go of your week. Inhaling, sending it up the body. And exhale, sending that breath all the way back down deep into the earth. Starting to send some energy out. Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In. Reiki 2, long distance healing. Inhaling and exhaling. Calling in your higher self. And just feel that alignment coming into you. Calling in. Bringing in your spiritual body. Calling in so you feel that auric field all around you inhaling and exhaling beginning to center your energy calling into the very center inhaling and exhaling so we take this time to honor where we are right here in the season of spring as we open up to this full moon energy coming in finding ourselves for the season of spring in the direction of the east where the sun rises each and every day, giving us that hope, that courage to take another step forward. The East is where we plant those new seeds, setting those intentions out there, calling in the directions for guidance this week to the East, the South, the West and the North, above us, below us, right into the very center, calling in, setting your intentions right now. Allow those intentions to come in for this week, right into that third eye center, seeing them very strong, noticing how you will feel as these intentions come in for you. And let those emotions, let those feelings elevate all around you. And let those elevated emotions radiate out through your auric field, strengthening that field of energy for you right now. Releasing the attachment, be neutral in your manifesting and the intentions, but let those elevated emotions inspire you as you move through this week. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's just take a moment, dropping the awareness into your heart. And imagine this Reiki I'm sending out comes right into your heart, into the chest, into your lungs, let it strengthen that area for you, moving out anything at all less than light. Say a key, say a key, say a key as we use the mantra in Reiki, clearing out anything at all, any kind of virus, any kind of bacteria, any kind of that less than light energy of the chest and the heart and the lungs and your breath. 
Strengthen it. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling it out. Coherence of the heart with the coherence of the mind. As you ground, feel yourself grounding your energy, being really strong in that alignment for you right now. Nothing gets into the energy field. Allow nothing to get in. Strengthen it for you as you move through this week. Strengthen it out. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel your feet on the floor. Grounding that energy for you. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Sealing in this energy. Shukurei, shukurei, shukurei. Sending it out. Feeling yourself grounding. Feeling a little shift of energy for you. Starting to bring that awareness back. Opening the eyes. Coming back. Just noticing a little calmness, a little shifting of energy. Good. All right. So as we go to look for the cards this week, some interesting cards are coming forward. The first one that we drew is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is a really good card for right now. This reminds us, first of all, the physical world. This is our work. And this shows us that we are connected, all right? That we are all connected. This is like pull back a little bit. Notice what you have. Notice what skills are already there for you. And what skills do you need as we move forward and go out into the world? When we connect to each other, perfect for right now, we can move these mountains, all right? We can do the work that we need to do. So this card is all about connection, working together, taking the ability, having that ability to pull back a little bit and look at your life from a new perspective. All right, really important as we start to go back out into the world. All right, connection, collaboration, building your skills, noticing what you need. All right, that deals with like also to making changes and shifts in your path and your work and what you're doing. Many of us will have to shift our work. What skills do you need to do to bring it forward? All right, if you drew card number one, this is the daughter of wands. All right, wands is all about that, that, that passion, that desire, that psychic energy. Actually, that's exactly what this card is about. That psychic energy, that visionary energy. All right, it's got that innocence to be able to really look into the spiritual energy of what's going around. All right, look at that. It's transformation. It's got the growth. And it's got that sharpness right there. This is a visionary card. We all need this right now as we move forward. All right, we all need to look a little bit further down the road and start to really intuit the signs coming in. Very important as we go out into the world again. Very important. All right, the second card, if you took two, if you chose two, this is the chariot. All right, the chariot is what's going to help you get on that path, make those choices, make that shift or that pivot in direction for what you do need. This is horsepower. All right, this is a really great card for all of us right now. This is that self-assurance, like I do have my skills, all right? And if you don't have something, you know that you can go find your skills. Build those skills for you. Horsepower as we start to move out in a new path, all right? Most of us have been home. Now we may have to go back out into the world, a new path. Create a new path. There is no going back to normal. You may have glimpses of it, but it's not normal. Nothing is going to be the same. Everything will shift. Get your horsepower together so you can move forward with the confidence to do it. And this is the card of shifting, all right? The wheel of fortune, wherever you have that wheel of fortune, things are turning, inner world and outer world as well, exactly where we are right now, all right? And I always say, like, we were grateful. We're on the bottom, it's going to shift. We're going to be on the top. We're on the top, be grateful, it's going to shift on the bottom. So where are you in this? And where can you bring in the signs that are all around to help you? It's got that wise owl in there, all right? So this is all about the shifting energy we are all in, all of the world around us is in. So how can you take a step back, know what skills you have and what skills you need and work in collaboration, really important collaboration with those around you, be a visionary to your life, go deeper in your skills, let that grow, let that passion pierce through so you know the path of where you're going. Be strong, have the horsepower, love her depiction in this deck. Look at, the, look at how the mane flies, 
All right, look at the red she uses on the edges here. Look how she's wearing. All she needs is right there. All you need is within you. Tap into it. Learn to tap into it. Build your intuition so you know when you're out in the world. Am I safe? Am I not? Who am I listening to? You're your best guy. Just tap into it. You can train it. You can grow with it. And this is knowing we are all pivoting and changing. The world has our back. I do like to say this is Gabby always says the universe has your back. The cosmos has your back, but you must be in tune with it. You must open up to it. Train these skills right now more than ever. All right. How do you know which way to go? Go within. What's going to serve you? How are you going to move forward? Really, really important as we move through this time. All right. So take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how that resonates with you. Let me know if you'd like a card. Let me know what's going on. Have a lot going on this week. Have some fun stuff coming up. Monday, I will be in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Come join us. I'll be doing tapping. I'm going to be there probably a little towards eight because I do have some private work at nine. So I will be there tapping motivation to get us moving through the week. Wednesday, I have my Birmingham Yoga Reiki and Restorative. All right. Come join us. Birmingham Yoga has pay what you can, drop in, whatever. You do need to sign up to get the link. Friday, I'm going to do a Reiki and your pets over at Practice Works. All right, I'm supposed to do the Reiki Summit. Of course, everything got switched, but I am going to do Reiki and your pets. All you have to do is bring your pets in your room. Join us over at Practice Works. It will be online, but through Practice Works is how you sign up. And then Thursday night, I'm actually going to do an online fire circle. I've been having so much fun joining in everybody else's circles. We're going to do an online fire circle and full moon circle as well. So come join us. Get the link from me. All right, let me go back and see who's asking for cards. Let's see. All right, so Leah says the chariot resonates, right? It really does. Have that have that strength, have that direction. All right, Regina's asking for a card. Regina, we got the daughter of pentacles. All right, I love this because it's having some of that innocence to create your life, all right? To be really, really innocent about how you put it together. Pentacles is the earth and your work. So be grounded, have some of the innocence, look at the rainbow. All right. In order to be creative, open up, think outside the box. That's what she always reminds me of. All right. When we get it. All right. Raylene, how about a card for you? Raylene, we got the justice card. So this card is all about actions. All right. The actions you take, the actions that will follow when you do, it's like that ripple effect. Look at both sides. All right. Know that there is some justice coming in. Sometimes people call this a karma card. So notice the energy you're putting out and the energy that you are receiving as well. All right. Let's see. Who did I miss? Let me know if you want a card. So much that we can look at and understand as we move forward. All right. Any other requests? Let me know. I don't see anybody over here on Facebook. I see a couple of people, but I don't see any comments. Let me know if I haven't caught you. Nice save. I know, Summer. It's always something, right? All right, guys. I think I got everybody. All right. Let's see. Jackie, you had a card. All right. Yay. How are you, Jackie? All right, Jackie, you've got the four cups. So this is all about balance, balance of the heart, taking time out, and also to the gratitude card. All right. We always call this a gratitude card, recognizing the things that we do have and not getting caught in the shadows of the things that we don't have. All right. So really being open. Lots of times it does of the heart. Right now, the more we can clear the heart, be empowered in the heart, right? That's where the coronavirus hits us, the better it's going to be. So make sure that you do offer gratitude, open and clear anything in the heart going on right now. Summer, how you doing, Summer? Summer, I love this card. This is a transformation card. This is a six. Sixes are two threes, all right? It's also the wands. This is like rising above that energy that's been down there for you, really opening up, knowing that things are changing, Butterflies are always about transformation. So just keep doing the work you're doing, all right? Having that patience to do it, all right? Very important that we do that right now. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? If I missed you, let me know. And let me know how you're seeing this. Do you feel you're going back to a new normal? Do you feel it's going back to the other way? Is this a whole totally different path? Post below, leave me a post, leave me a comment, even if you're watching this later. All right. I'm curious how people are really kind of classifying this time and what they're saying. All right, guys, we had a great um, Empowered Spirit podcast this past week. She was awesome. Dr. Susan Chomsky. She's written so many books. 
She traveled with the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, the Beatles Yogi. She was in some of the movies with the Beatles. Excellent teacher. We talked about how it's taken a pandemic to awaken our consciousness. She talked about meditation and about the percent of people meditating now and what a difference it's making, how she was a part of that Maharishi effect. Check out the podcast where we had some really, really great conversation. You can find it on the Empowered Spirit show.com website page or all your favorites, right? You can find it there. All right. So let me know how we're doing. Any other questions? Do your work. Be strong in your spirit. It's okay to make changes. We're all making changes. Find the next step that's going to be good for you. And as we go to close, just taking a little bit of that energy from Alice Bailey, from the point of light, Within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of all of us. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of man. May consciousness rise upon this earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the wills of all men right now. The purpose which the masters know and serve us all. From the center, which we call the race of man, let the plan of love and light restore the plan on earth. Let the light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Make peace prevail. Just taking a nice deep inhale, letting that just settle in, make peace prevail on earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Thank you so much for tuning in to your spirit. Namaste. Have a great week. Join me for the full moon.